Hello! Today's video is my March wrap-up. So during the month of March I read five books. Um, starting with, um, I read um, Finished Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. It, this was part of the Wizarding World book club. So every week we read five chapters or thereabouts. Um, and they provide a little bit of the background story through their website. The next book was um, A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. This is the third book in the, tr the trilogy. It's um, about Red London and um, Kel and Dahlia and their adventures on uh, protecting Red London. I enjoyed this book very much. I think uh, with me, I usually don't read back-to-back um, -back books in a series, especially if I haven't read it the first time, like if it's the first time that I'm reading them, because I believe it takes away from from the book. And I think that's what I did with this one, because I read it, I was so excited to read it that I read it right after uh, Gathering of Shadows. So I think I lost the impact of the book. I still very much enjoyed it and, and loved the full, full um, characters, the story, all of it. It's a, a great read and I would recommend the whole, the whole uh, trilogy. Next I read uh, The Hazelwood by um, Melissa Albert. Uh, this book is uh, about a girl named Alice whose grandmother wrote fairy tales and um, her mother, her grandmother dies and her mother is kidnapped um, by what they say something that has to do with her grandmother's stories. So she meets up with um, a big fan of her grandmother's stories to find her mother. I did not really enjoy this book, um, unfortunately. Um, I found it very slow. Um, it took me a very long time to read this book. Uh, I couldn't get into the characters. I, I did not like the, char the main characters, so I did not like Alice. Um, the boy that she goes uh, searching with, Finch, I, I didn't care for him either. I thought that it took way too long to get to um, finding her mother or into her her um, grandmother's stories and the fairy tales. And yeah, I didn't. I'm sorry, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't like it that much. It it wasn't wasn't a disaster. I just uh, I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. The next book that I read was. Scythe by uh, Neil Schusterman. This book I absolutely loved. It's one of my favorite books ever. Um, it's about um, Citra and Rowan and they're two, two people who become uh, apprentices to a scythe. Um, they're from an era that has a computer takes over, there's no more government, there's no more uh, disease, there's no more illness, there's there's no poverty. Um, it's all controlled by a computer. And um, because the population doesn't die, it, uh, it needs to be controlled. So that's why we have scythes. They claim people, so they're, um, they kill people to control the population. So Citra and Rowan are um, going through an apprenticeship uh, to become scythes. I don't want to say too much more because this is an amazing book and I can't wait, wait to read the next one. But um, I will wait for a little bit to read Thunderhead. Um, I recommend this highly. Very, very good book. And the last book that I read is uh, Vast in the Night. Sorry about the sticker. Uh, I can't seem to uh, take it off. Uh, by Sarah Porter. 
I had heard good things about this on uh, booktube and it was I know it was in one of the owl crate boxes um, from before I subscribed to them this is a girl this is a book about a girl named Vasa who lives with her stepmother and her stepsisters and um, one of her sisters they, she doesn't get along very well with one of her sisters her stepsisters and she sends her out for light bulbs in the middle of the night and the only place to get these light bulbs are at uh, the convenience store that is open around the clock but unfortunately in this convenience store if you are caught stealing you're beheaded and um, so they take the head and they they put it out to show so that people will be uh, won't steal um, so Vasa goes in to the convenience store and the owner of the convenience store doesn't necessarily you don't necessarily have to steal for you to be caught stealing so and it's her adventures of how she's going to get out of the convenience store uh, intact and with her life very good book I enjoyed it very much that was all the books that I've read for this month um, so I did get one book that I wasn't very pleased with and one book that was outstanding um, that I read uh, if you've read any of these books please comment below um, I would love to hear um, what you thought of them and um, if you have any recommend recommendations for any other books um, that I might enjoy please subscribe if you like and I will see you soon thank you